Hi, my name is Carlos. I'm Caesar. My name is David. My name is Christopher Luna. And we're the Sunny Company, and this is our sun tracking solar panel. This is our quad chart, as previously presented to you guys. Uh, this is our flow chart. Uh, our goal is to uh, prove that the system recovery is up to 25%, also gives uh, port portability, and some of the advantages is that it's a high amount, it's also better for the cooling of the solar panel. Uh, we're just trying to do uh, the objective, is also low cost uh, production, it's going to be able to move in the X and Y axis, it's a closed loop system, and that's our timeline. Up to now, we are in this, between this part and this part, we just got the parts printed. Okay, so this is the schematic for our project. We pretty much revised our block diagram. Um, so the way it's gonna work is we're gonna have sunlight be our input, and then our transducers, which are gonna be the photoresistors, are gonna take in the sunlight as the input and convert it to the nuclear board. So at the nuclear board, it's gonna tell the motors what direction to move to angle the solar panel at a certain way to get the most sunlight. And then we're gonna have that information feed back into the photoresistors in order to correct the angle more, and then have it feed back into the system to make sure the solar panel's always getting the most efficient amount of sunlight possible. So now we move on to the preliminary design. Here we'll outline how our final product should look like. Uh, and as you can see here, we have the, the ultimately what um, the real world uh, build should look like. And if we go over here to the schematic, we'll see that in the main body of the design, we have, we're going to enclose one motor, which uh, will be responsible, responsible for rotating our panel uh, along the X direction. And attached to the main body of the design, we're going to have another enclosure of another motor. Uh, and that motor, secondary motor, will help us uh, move the, our solar panel in the Y direction. That way you get the, uh, you can seek light more efficiently. And over here, uh, lastly, oh, uh, we, we have the, this uh, black bar would be our solar panel. Mm -hmm. And attached to the top, we would have our photo resistors, which will be detecting light and giving back the feedback to our nucleo, which will then control the motors. This is our sun tracking system. As you can see, we decided to do a 3D printed printing with four uh, section divider. Um, the dividers, what they do is that when the sun is not hitting correctly uh, into the, to the solar panel, it will create a shade and the shade will increase the resistance of the photoresistors and that will tell our system to relocate the position in order to get the most light out of the sun, I mean the most energy out of the sun and as you can see, our resist, photo resistors work within the 50 to 100 kilo ohms. So that's some helpful information for uh, when using the nucleo. The operating temperatures are minus 30 to 70 degrees Celsius. And this is the overall dimensions of the photo resistors that we work All right, with. For the motor part, we're going to be using a micro servo motor. Um, these are the uh, specifications. Um, as you can see, the orange panel is for the PWM, it's going to go into the motor. And then we can have a power source, uh, red and brown to power the motor. And then the stall work for the mini uh, servo motor is at around 1.8 kilograms. And then for the operation for the motor will be 4.8 volts or 5 volts to operate the motor. And then these motors are going to be used, one's going to be used for the base as my previous uh, David said. One's going to be used for the x-axis, and then the other servo motor is going to be used for the y-axis, so you can have the motor rotating on both axes. So now we're going to talk about our solar panel, and some of the features is that it, it, the max power is at 2 watts, uh, the max voltage will be around 6 volts, uh, the current is on 330 milliamps, and this solar panel that we're using, it's a, it's a pretty lightweight solar panel, it's pretty small, it's around 4, um, four by 5 inches. Uh, and this solar panel is going to be placed near our second motor, uh, as we saw earlier. Uh, and this way, uh, the, the second motor will be uh, rotating the solar panel in both the X and Y direction, of course. 
So this is our 3D printing that we're going to be using for our project. As you can tell, and we've been talking about, this is going to be our base. This is going to be what is going to be holding the panel. This is our uh, y-axis rotation combined with the x-axis. This is going to be our divider for the photo resistors. The yeah, so the print was 21, 20% fill, which makes the printing makes it lightweight but also doesn't make it too too strong it makes it strong enough for for it to be able to be drilled on and also bolted on uh, the pricing that we had for this um, materials or seven an hour courtesy of CETA and uh, it all came out to be about forty dollars okay right. uh, for the processing part we're gonna be using a nucleo um, for the two motors we're gonna connect it to the PWM nucleo pinouts, and then we're going to have four analog inputs for each of the photoresistors so they can all communicate together in order to reposition the solar panel in order for it to rotate on the X and Y axis. And mainly, these are we're still trying to set up and configure it on Simlink in order for it to run well. Okay, so now we go on to a schedule. As we already said, we've already gotten our project approved. Uh, we have gone ahead and acquired most of the parts, most of all the parts. And last week, we just went ahead and 3D printed all the parts necessary to build the model, the design. And for the build-up, uh, in the next coming weeks, we shall be able to uh, put this together to have our final design. And, and on the oncoming weeks, uh, from week 10 to 14, we shall be testing and troubleshooting, and that'll be with MATLAB or um, working along trying to get the uh, controller to work. And then on the last week, week 15, we'll, we'll present your final project. Okay, so then this is our cost analysis. We pretty much got all our parts uh, from Amazon. Uh, the solar panel right here was around $8. The photoresistors came in a 30 pack, was about $5. Our servo motors came in a five pack, but we're only using two of them. Came out to eleven seventy eight. The three D printing came out to forty dollars. So in total, we it was sixty four seventy two divided amongst the four of us. It's sixteen dollars per person.